So we're going to be shifting things up in today's video. Normally, I don't really talk about Xbox. I mean, there were times where I did, uh, but I took a long break from that. We are going to be returning to talking about Xbox every now and again. And this is going to be one of those times where we do. Now, understand that as I approach this topic, I understand there's going to be a lot of people who feel very strongly about uh, this current situation. Know that I'm coming from a stance of where I actually love Halo. I love a lot of Xbox IP, but they've been out of form for a very long time. So while my comments may come off harsh, it is coming from a place of sincerity and that I really do want to see Xbox do the best it can. But I do want to address what's happening here with Halo, with Microsoft, with their studios, and how I think they're really fumbling and have been fumbling for a long time. And their only way to get back on track is to correct these specific things, at least in my opinion. Quickly, before we jump into that, if you could do me a huge favor, like, subscribe, share the video, it helps the channel a ton. And if you want to see me talk more about other games and other uh, consoles, such as the Xbox, let me know in the comments, um, as I know that I have mostly a PlayStation audience, but I really do want to talk about the gaming industry as a whole. Uh, while we do still focus on PlayStation, I do want to talk about the gaming industry as a whole as well. Now, let's talk about this situation with Halo, with Microsoft, 343 Industries. There's so much drama around here. There's so much going on and a lot of comments from developers that worked with Microsoft and with 343 saying some stuff that the industry and the community has been saying for quite some time, but no one really understood it or believed it because it seemed like fanboy comments. Whereas now we're hearing it straight from the horse's mouth and there is no two ways about this. This is a situation where uh, we are looking at uh, exactly what has been happening. So this information is collected from quite a few places, Bloomberg, Lords of Gaming, um, VGC, and tweets as well from people who worked with the company. Uh, so I'm just gonna source it all in, in the description, but let's talk about this. So on Wednesday, Microsoft confirmed plans to lay off approximately 4.5% of the US technology giants, 220,000 person workforce. So around 10,000 people were laid off. This is not new new, this was yesterday new. Reports from Bloomberg and Lords of Gaming then identified 343 as one of the several game studios to be affected, with the latter claiming that the Halo developer had suffered a significant number of layoffs, particularly those working on single player elements. Yeah. Big shocker here that 343 got hit the hardest and we're gonna dive deeper into that. So several former 343 staff have since responded to the news and criticized Microsoft for its part in Halo Infinite's Rocky development. And as you all know, since they showed this game off, it had just been bump after bump after bump. And in my honest opinion, I never felt it launched well or complete. And there were a lot of flaws within that game that shocked me were getting praise. Uh, one critic is Patrick Wren. He had worked for 343 for eight years and was senior multiplayer designer on Halo Infinite before leaving in October 2021 to join Respawn and working on Star Wars Jedi Survivor. So think about that. Eight years and a senior multiplayer designer. That's not an insignificant amount of time to work for somebody. So he says in quotes, the layoffs at 343 shouldn't have happened in Halo Infinite, should be in a better state. The reason for both of those things is incompetent leadership up top during Halo Infinite development, causing massive stress on those working hard to make Halo the best it can be. Now, right off the top, we know that he's blaming uh, higher ups management. And we've been saying this for a long time. The community has been saying for a long time that management is a problem. There is no guidance. There is no proper management in place, which is why these projects are a mess, specifically with Halo, Man, how do you mess up Infinite? How do you mess up such a massive IP? It is a stain on the Halo reputation, the franchise for what has happened with this IP. And it's hard to hear, I know for fans, because I am a fan of Halo. I've been playing Halo for thousands of hours, guys. Thousands of hours. So this isn't coming from a fanboy perspective. This is coming from someone who loves the IP and was seriously looking forward to Halo Infinite, but was incredibly disappointed with what, with what they delivered. There's no two ways about that, at least from my perspective, it was rough. It was rough. And 
it's not just me alone. And clearly coming from somebody who worked with the company for as long as they did, eight years, they are saying the same thing we've been saying for a long time. So understand that there's validity to what we've been saying for a long time. It's not fanboy wars. This is coming from people who worked within the company. Goes on to say the people I worked every day with were passionate about Halo and wanted to make something great for the fans. They helped push for a better Halo and got laid off for it. Devs still there are working hard on the dream. Look at Forge, be kind to them during this awful time. So again, you know, the team really passionate according to this person and, and wanting to create the best experience, but the leadership was just not there. It's not great leadership. And it's, it's a shame. It's a shame because like I said, Halo, massive IP, one of the greatest franchises at some point in time, a, a, a juggernaut in many, many ways, especially during Halo 2, Halo 3 era. And still, if you look at what the most successful games in terms of Halo are, the MCC is, is the most active, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's, you know, got the most going on for it. And uh, the sad thing is those weren't the only companies. We then had Tyler Owens, and Tyler Owens worked for 343 during the development of Halo 5 in the studio's operations role, now also working with Respawn as a build engineer on Apex Legends. They said in quotes, between the contracting policies they abuse for tax incentives and layoffs in the face of gigantic profits, executive bonuses, they set Halo up for failure. So again, we're hearing criticisms of contract work. And I know that, that a lot of companies do contract work. That's nothing new. A lot of companies do contract work, but it seems like it was almost in a way that was at the detriment of the project. So again, Xbox just not doing the best, man. They're just not, they're really not where they should be. And it's a, it shows, it shows across the board with Xbox. We're not just talking about here, Halo. All right. Halo Infinite was not good. It was not good. The multiplayer was all right. Well, look at the game. Look at the population on this game. It's tank. This is not Halo. This is not the Halo that we know. They had a very robust set of modes and, and things you could do and, and a population that would constantly be playing this game. This is not Halo. This is not Halo Infinite is not it. You know, the campaign having like no variation environment and a story that made literally no sense that killed off characters off scene, off the screen. Like, how do you do that? It was a failure in every sense of the word to me and clearly the team felt they set the game up for failure and that's not coming from me that's coming from team members people who worked on this game who wants to say that about a project they put their heart and soul into nobody so it's coming from a place of sincerity once again this is a disappointment to me and i feel like microsoft needs to make a big change and, and the problem comes from leadership Again, they go out here, they buy these studios up, and that's great. You guys want to expand your portfolio, but if you can't manage the teams that you have properly, what is the point of taking on more? It's that simple. It really is. I want to see uh, Xbox prosper. I love competition. I love to see you know IP like Fable make a return because I love Fable. But if that's going to happen, man, you guys got to get your stuff together. You know, Nintendo's doing their thing. They're doing great. PlayStation is doing their thing. They're doing great. What are you guys doing? You're not doing what needs to be done to be successful. And I feel like the problem again comes from leadership. And I know this video will probably upset some people. I'm probably gonna get some pretty nasty comments, but again, understand this comes from a place of sincerity. I have been an Xbox owner since the original Xbox. I still have my original Xbox. I have a 360, I have an Xbox. Like I am a fan of gaming at the end of the day, but I'm just being sincere in what I'm saying. Microsoft needs to change something, man. And this is again now coming from their own employees. This isn't coming from somebody who's just sitting in a chair talking on a mic with about what they see happening in the industry. This is from somebody who actually worked on these games. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. You know, do you think there's reason for concern? How do you feel about these comments about, uh, you know, employees saying or former employees saying, yeah, leadership was a problem? Please. Share your thoughts in the comments. We can talk there. Even if you disagree with me, I'd love to hear your reasoning. Uh, but please, as always, let's let's be constructive with, with our comments, not just cussing each other out. Uh, please, if you have not subscribed already, please subscribe, like, comment, share the video. Helps the channel a ton. You can follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description.
And if you want to support the channel a step further, consider becoming a channel member. It's $1.99 Canadian a month, and every dollar gets reinvested into the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you on the next one. Take care.